Hello and welcome back to another episode of Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. And we are in month number six, um, nearing the mid game and trying to fight our way through uh, an alien infested landscape. We are in the process of liberating Africa and this here is a hack, uh, hack mission where we're trying to gather some more intel so we can also spread further. My biggest problem with this uh, mission is, by the way, I forgot to do the Globi Globiscope intro, that's why we're jumping right into the mission. My biggest issue with this mission is it is such a small map. We're fighting against 15 enemies here and the target is in earshot range. Whilst this is great for the for the actual timer, it absolutely is a horrible situation in terms of enemies and the amount of, um, of uh, people that we're going to fight at the same time. So we gotta stay tuned regarding this. Today we're having Bob Ross as our specialist. We do have Ghost as an assault. We got Outrider leading the team as um, being Outrider, a Reaper, uh, we have a Glitch as a Technician, we got Baya, the good-hitting um, Gunner, and Mitch Mitchell, who is the spiritual leader of the team. And with that, let's dive into it. Um, first things that I usually or um, normally like to do is get a bit of an overview about how bad everything really is. So that's what two patrols, a uh, patrol and a uh, pack. Um, alien, um, Mac Archer, Grenadier, Enormous Soldier. I mean, that's a pack which we could do with relative ease. Rolling out. Let's position. Let's position people aggressively because I'm assuming we're going to we're going to uh, start this off very soon. Bob Ross needs to go and hack soon, so I don't want him to fall behind too much. Over here seems to be fine. And as you can already see, we're kind of pinched into this corner, and I really don't like where this is going. We have nowhere to run. So the smallest detail that could, could go wrong, would basically blow this mission here wide open. Oh shit. That's another pack of mechs right there. I've spotted an alien patrol. I don't I don't like where this is going. I just hope that Baya can still move or can she see the other max? Shit. See, therein lies the problem. I can no longer move her away, which means as soon as we're triggering something, this pack will automatically also trigger. I don't have the time to wait uh, for the situation to better, which means it's a bit now or never. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're starting a pull. And I don't want to take her action because the command ability is too strong. Let's take someone else's action, for instance, glitch here. We could position a bit better. He deals the exact same damage with the claymore. <clears throat> We're in the sight. 
Good, and now shit has hit the fan because <clears throat> we are going to definitely fight against three mechs at the same time. There is a mutant casually standing on top of um, on top of uh, the train. And it's on. Like it's on. On. So how can we hit this guy? And who should kill him? I do have an idea. Dragonova can simply take it down. It's a 100% chance. And she will retain her concealment. Overwatch is removed. It's great. Got another Overwatch over here. Let's be careful and not too aggressive. Gotta deal with this mech. I wish we could chain shot it, but I feel it's probably going to be a bad idea. Body shield, just in case. 75 percent hmm. I do have a backup plan if that fails come on hit him that's great come on, one more hit all right we haven't lost anything it was simply a normal hit now it's down to 10 HP. All right, fortify run and gun. This here is going to trigger the overwatch. It's probably not going to kill it. But it's very close to uh, to no, to dying. Um, Seventy percent is okay for now. This is not a clustered up uh, scenario because the mech doesn't know that Dragonova is here, so we're still officially kind of spread out pretty evenly. And the mech cannot run as far, uh, but it may, may be able to run up to here. So yeah, this cluster needs to probably be opened up a bit. Just want to prevent rockets to fly in. Let's kill the mech. Good job, Bob Ross. Good fucking job. And spreading out, can't really do anything about the mech archer, just too many hit points. But we almost killed the drone. Wow, are you kidding me? No! Oh, wow, we just killed her in the last mission, dude. How is that even possible? Oh boy, I'm... Oh, we're fucked. Okay, let's... 
let's drop the evac zone just in case. Yeah, standing right next to something explosive isn't a good idea. So far they weren't intelligent enough to abuse that. It's the first time that they are actually abusing it. Clever play. The AI has learned something. More drones. Well, I mean drones are at least not more difficult enemies, so I guess I'm fine with that. Okay, first things first. Calling in a Sky Ranger. Okay, moving into full cover, just in case. It's not a big move, but still. Same over here. should take care of the mech. Good. Got a pack of two mechs. Got a pack of three. That's five. Two drones. That's seven. There's some probably more enemies to go, to be honest. Okay, a tower. We already know that there had been another pack up here and two drones. Activating Ghost Walker. Okay, two towers, two drones, and some other pack plus the chosen. Well, well, I mean, this here is surely not triggering the tower, right? Wrong. Hmm. Good, we gotta get out of tower range. Bob Ross moves up and we need to heal this turn. Unfortunately, the whole explosion has taken quite a bit of a toll on Ghost. Good. Moving back into cover. Might seem like a chicken play, but why would you take shots from a tower if, if you don't need to? Okay, so the Chosen hasn't shown up yet. The end is coming. Let's see what's happening back here.
Would that hit the tower? Well, that would hit almost everything. And there's a drone. Hmm. That is a very powerful tool for us. If we can get the, another pack into here, that would essentially level the playing field quite a bit. Okay, Baya begins to move up. I want to kill the tower first. Let's shred it. Almost down. Moving Mitch in. And that's a solid kill. So one tower down. We have almost nowhere to go and it's only six more turns. This is a spicy situation. I like to increase the tempo quite a bit so that we can keep it going <clears throat> but I think we're still fine for now On don't want to risk pulling some uh, something else and we could always theoretically with invention uh, intervention uh, gain two extra turns. Not the best idea to do that, but I don't want to like, completely mess up the whole mission just because we're rushing in. So glad that I waited for one more turn with the explosion. Oh my gosh. This is the first Archon. Oh my gosh, that's the first Archon and two Sidewinders next to him. That's an incredibly dangerous pack. Two more drones. Okay, so we killed three plus two plus one. That's six. Two drones now. <laughs> Critically? Okay, got to deal with the chosen now. It's not often I encounter the same foe twice. Rarer still having been defeated once already. You've got the chosen in range. Let's take it out. Okay, first things first, let's revive Bob Ross here. Oops, fine. That's good. Now, best thing ever. This is going to hurt.
This is going to be very satisfying. Three of them down, and the Archon is severely injured. Alright, let's see. Where is that chosen? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's getting better and better. has got to heal himself. Rapid deployment. I mean... Look, we have two options. Number one, ignore those and deal with the Chosen. Number two, Vice versa, ignore the Chosen and deal with those. Both are not really good options. Let's start with flashbanging both, because it hasn't costed us anything. The Chosen is in a position where we can't flank it. We just don't have the movement. And there is no cover that I can remove. She's simply standing behind at least half cover. Don't have run and gun. I'm not even sure if stun is going to work. But... We could try to stun her. I'm just not sure if she's being immune against it. I think giving all of uh, the considerations <coughs> of the circumstances, we should try to remove as much cover as we can and focus on the pack here. We're using a lot of our consumables, I get that. But at the same time, I don't want to deal with that many enemies. Still 8%. He's still in cover. That fucking tree here is still up. Trigger the other tower. But I think I have no choice but to. Going to shield against the drone. Now let's kill the mutant. Good, we're trying the stun. Yeah, it seems that she's immune to it. Good. The drones are uncontrolled, so we gotta deal with them next. 
Hopefully the stunner won't work. Oh, shit. And he's the one who had revival protocol, which against the drones wouldn't have mattered anyways. Alright, blinded. Well. Well, well, well. This is the beginning of the end for your resistance. Let's rock! Let's move. Well, we don't want to annoy the Archon, right? So, let's move away for now. Deal with the sector at first. Okay, so far so good. Head to that location. Moving over here. Let's not cluster up too much because uh, that will only encourage her to use Harbor Wave. Drones are being taken care of, which was important. I'm on the move. Moving up. And I'm wondering, I think this turn we don't need to use... Um, I think this turn we don't need to use our grenade not yet Seems doable. we're ignoring her two armor anyways with a shotgun no problem by the way that we're uh, that we're standing in the open She's immune to flashbang grenades, so might as well ignore it. I'm just overwatching, although I know that it's not gonna make any difference. Go! Destroy them quickly! Yeah. It's getting worse and worse every round. Seventy-seven percent isn't too bad, is it? Could also flame him, which is a hundred percent. Let's do that. Reloading, and that might even inflict burning. Bayer moves over here. 
still don't want to aggro the other tower. Continuing to take shots at it. Mitch moves over here. Gosh, this is cluster F. I think we almost have the best chance of hitting it with Dragonova herself. And the Chosen will hit once again. No one is in leather range, not yet. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Let's take a few peeks and see if we can spot her out. Since I don't know where exactly she is, it's really fishing in the dark. Moving up, let's take the loot. We got the tower inside, which is good. Baya moves up. And let's move up Bob Ross as well. Okay, is there anyone else? We had so many bad surprises. It's just horrible. If you think about it, this could have easily gone sideways. Now nah, we can't kill it with one shot. The Chosen, in itself, is already a problem, right? But well, we were fighting, like, what? A heavy mech? Two mech? Um, uh, arrow mechs? A couple of smaller um, uh, soldiers, so, like, one, two advent, four drones, two towers, which are relatively tanky. But then we had this monsterious pack here, super lucky that we could explode them. Two Sidewinders, um, another Advent, like what's that? Looks like a Grenadier. And the first Archon, 32 hit points. And on top of that, we're fighting uh, the Chosen One. This is not looking good. We're healing ourselves.
And it's just Overwatch, really. Double movement. I'm surprised that everything has gone so well. Certainly some of the parts had been lucky. Others on the other hand weren't so lucky, like we missed a few shots. Is there another tower? No. It seems that the next platform is empty. I would say the good side about all of this is the Chosen halts the timer, as long as we fight against her. Which for now isn't the worst, because we can get closer to the target without it being a problem. Glitch moves up here. On the move. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's not looking too bad at the moment. Taking a small peek here and there. I will go. We reduced uh, the uh, detection range. And it almost seems as if there is no more pack left. Move it on target location. All right, Overwatch and Overwatch. She's probably going to ambush us now. She going to simply attack. Well, that makes sense. She has hit one with a harbor wave. Thanks to Revival Protocol, not a big deal. Uh, so let's focus on her this round, shall we? It almost feels like we have neglected her so much. And since the priest here seems to be the last standing member, might as well take him out with a flashbang. That means next turn he can only use his gun. And I'm committed to just take away all of the cover here. Plus shred her. There is no honor in this. Let 
Moving up. Fortify. Nice little shotgun to the face. That worked like a charm. You know, I'm almost uh, thinking we're going to repeat that since it worked so well. Ready to go. Good old 100% shot. <laughs> 16. Well, that's good. She's down to 5. Getting a bit closer, and this might be the killing sh uh, killing blow. Okay. Can probably improve that even a bit further. Good old high ground. Just want to make sure we're not failing to kill her. Moving closer to the target so we can hack it. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. And that's going to be a single shot. I'm going. Moving up to the priest. Hello there, shotgun to the face. Laser weapons are really starting to become outdated. That's affirmative. Like we're standing right next to them with a shotgun and crit. And they still won't just die. Okay. He could flank us anywhere. Might as well overwatch right next to him. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Objective located. By the way, let's call in another Sky Ranger right here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Uh, yeah, let's go for uh, for some alien alloys. Alright, Bayer reloads, overwatches, and as soon as this guy moves, we can kill him. Okay, well. On my way. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm done. Uh, that was a hard mission. Superior Perception, such an awesome um, PCS. It's going to go into our Prime Sniper's eyes. By the way, not to say that Advanced Agility, which was the other one, is a bad one, but Superior Perception, really good. Moving on target location. And the only thing we need to do is... Wait for the extraction. Yep, there are no, ex uh, no Advent Soldiers left. Go. Said, good job, Firebrand. Picked up everyone, and I think we, uh, we, we are going to have some casual, uh, some injuries. We took quite some damage, but yeah, only on two soldiers. That's good. Good job. Good. We ended up with only a few days of being wounded. I am in disagreement, though, that we only should get one promotion. It felt like a much harder mission. All right, so what's Mitch Mitchell going to do? I like chain shot. <laughs> that is good as well. I 50% chance to stun enemies for one turn in the flashbang area. If you are going for flashbangs entirely, it's really not bad. Blue screen bombs, plus, uh, plus sting grenades, and rapid deployment. That, that's a different way of playing, but you could kind of load up like three to four flashbangs, and they would pretty much devastate the enemy. That's also not bad if I would be using more incendiary grenades, so that's okay, but I we're really using them for cover removal, kind of plain vanilla, and we're relying on hitting targets more than anything. So I think we're going for chain shot again. Maybe I should have taken bigger booms because he has three shooting abilities down here. Yeah, let's wait with them because they are also pretty pricey and we can afford Ever Vigilant, which is fine. I like Cool Under Pressure as well. But Ever Vigilant can help just to get double movement in. Alright, we got a uh, Dalian, uh, Alien Data Cache um, and an Aram Core. This is very valuable. This here is incredibly good, the superior perception. Plus 11 on aim. Shuri has advanced perception. I mean, one way of dealing with it is we could take someone who has like an incredibly crappy aim. For instance, Roby and give him that, making his aim somewhat better, but he has superior speed already. So I don't want to waste a superior item for another one. Zirkim certainly, I mean, hyper-reactive pupils are good, but plus 11 aim is better, let's not kid ourselves. So it's probably, he's probably the one getting it.
we're going to get more of the uh, more of those. But for now, I would be pretty restrictive and put it onto the main team. Okay, we could either continue to heal faster. Or given that we do have enough intel, we can now make contact. I think we're going to go to New Mexico. Yeah, let's go New Mexico, because that allows us to build a tower here and get the entirety of North America off of one tower. Yep, North America is going to be our next continent. And to make sure that we're not like expanding too rapidly, so our intel will anyways prevent that from happening, but just saying. Great, we got ourselves an assault trained up. If I'm not mistaken, the next one was currently a specialist. And we wanted to have another gunner. I remember take, uh, taking her as a gunner. Great. Let me do the color coding of our new rookie real quick. All right, here we go. What's the new rookie? Yusef, welcome to the team. This is our new sniper. Welcome to the team as well, Shayna. Good. Good enough. Let's move on. Continuing to make contact, I think soon our next mission will need to be launched. Yep, there we go. So... It's 130% infiltrated, so we're fighting against a light enemy activity. And this is to counter a hidden event. Great. That'll be our skirmisher, together with Aftermath, a sharpshooter, a ranger, shinobi, grenadier, and specialist. That is a decent team. And if they are up against 15 enemies, we should be fine brings us to the end of uh, this episode a lot of people have been have been recruited and or are back which is great so we'll do a bit of haven management after the next mission uh, because clearly we can now shift to supplies but overall it's looking good I would say we're on our way we soon get blue screen rounds have another mech in production so that's going well. I think we got a couple more rookies. Yeah, we got two more rookies that we can hire. So the growth of our roster is also sort of stacking up. I'm a bit concerned about the um, supplies that we're having. So we probably will need to sell quite a few more items. Um, and I'm not sure if laser weapons are really cutting it in the long term. I've seen many many enemies uh, that require so much fire now in order to get them done. Just take the um, the Archon in the last mission as an example. Although we had some magnetic weapons um, it just it was eating. Uh, it was down to 20 hit points after the explosion but it was still eating like three or four hits. Crazy. Um, so we're we need to find different ways of dealing with uh, uh, the enemies. 
specifically on timed missions because you can stall out quite a long time with uh, suppression and uh, and with disorienting them but at the end of the day if you are not getting your mission done then all of that is pretty futile okay cool good i think we're through for today uh, thank you so much for watching as always if you want to support the channel leave a, link, uh, a like or a comment down below that would mean a lot to me and uh, see you in the next run bye bye